G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's the question for today. What is the hundredth digit of 2 to the 1011 raised to the 2011 power? I guess this is a competition from the year 2011. Okay, we want the hundredth digits of that. Ooh, ooh, okay, well, this is 2011 times 2011 times 2011 times 2011, 2011 times. There's no way I'm gonna work that out. There's some huge number. So obviously I don't need to work it out, or don't want to work it out. Well, actually I don't want to, and I don't need to, I suspect. Because uh, all I want, the question was, what is it? What's the hundredth digit of this number? So there's gonna be some number that ends in some digits, A, B, C, D, whatever it is. Maybe it ends in a D. Second to last digit is a C, what's that's the tens. Third to last, third to large digit is a B. Oh, that's the hundredths. We want the third to last digit of whatever this number is. Okay. All right, I understand the question. I'm pausing because I have no idea what to do. All right, okay, well this question feels like it's got stuff I know how to handle. It's just arithmetic. So strategy number one, engage in successful flailing. I've got a sense of what sort of going to be involved, just don't have a clue how to do it yet. So let's talk about numbers. Uh, this is a number. I want the, like the multiples of a hundred that in the stuff. I don't care about the thousands or the ten thousands, just the hundreds are my focus. So I want sort of like how many hundreds are in this thing when I raise it up. Okay, well that sounded good, just don't know what it means, what it does for me. Well, okay, let's, let's, let's think about what this is going to look like raised up. 2011 raised up, but let's be really spell out the digits. This is really 2000 plus 10 plus 1 that gets raised up. All right. So yes, I'll get powers of 2,000, I'll get powers of 10, I'll get powers of 1. I don't care about any powers of 2,000 because I mean the thousands. All I want is the hundreds and maybe the tens and the ones. It could be like carries involved from the tens that affect the hundreds or something. All right, so actually, so let's, let's keep track of the ones, tens, and the hundreds. Hmm, what can I do though? All right, all right. This does remind me of a piece of mathematics. It reminds me of the binomial theorem. In fact, it reminds me of the trinomial theorem. That is, if I take some quantity, say x, y, z, and raise it to the nth power, it is going to be a whole sum of stuff. All the different combinations of powers of these things. In fact, I even know the formula. Um, if I've got x to the a, y to the b, z to the c, has the coefficient from the trinomial theorem n factorial divided by a factorial, b factorial, c factorial. So it's going to be a sum of all the terms like this. And for us, x is 2,000, y is 10, and z is 1. So I could do the trinomial version, uh, trinomial version of the binomial version, of, which is here, on those numbers. But I think I have to. All right, but remember, I only want the hundreds and the tens and the ones and catch all the carries, so I want to do the other ones. So, aha, powers are 2,000. I don't want any of those. So in this sum, this whole sum of these things, uh, I can all the, ignore all the ones that involve 2,000. So that is, I only care about ones with uh, that term having, being x to the zero. Don't care about any stuff. So that means I can have, oh, b, b, b. If b is three, that gets me to the thousands. So b could only be, ah, I could either have y squared, that gives me the hundreds, or y to the ones, or y to the zeros. Just keep those in mind, just in case they do the carries. And I guess z is to the c, that's one every single time. It's always be one. All right, so in this huge sum, okay, I'm just kind of getting lost here, I only care about these combinations of powers that have x to the zero, y to either zero, one, or two, and z to whatever it needs to be. So let's be really clear. Let's go x to the zero, y squared, and z to the, well, these numbers have to add up to the coefficient that would be 2009. Uh, and the coefficient in front would be uh, 2011 factorial, where is it? And each of the powers over 0 factorial, 2 factorial, 2009 factorial. Whew. Plus, there'll be a term that involves, uh, that was y squared, y1. So it'd be, I want, ooh, let's give myself room, bad board technique. X to the zero, y to the one, and it have to be z to the 2010, because they have to add up to, two, uh, to 2011. Coefficient would be 2011 factorial, zero factorial, one factorial, 2010 factorial, plus, oh my gosh, y equals zero. X zero, y zero, z to the 2011, uh, 2011 factorial, ah, so confusing. Zero factorial, zero factorial, 2011 factorial, plus stuff which is all the thousands and more. Whoa. Am I feeling happy? No, I don't know, this looks pretty horrid. Um, well, okay, okay, there are actual numbers here. 
Uh, that's 100. Why 10 squared? 100. And that's 1. So this is actually, oh, not too bad. This is 2011 factorial over 2 factorial, 2009 factorial times 1, 1, and 100 times 100. Plus, ah, this is not too bad. 11 factorial, uh, 1 factorial, 2010 factorial times 1 times 10 times 1 plus 2011 factorial, yep, 2011 factorial on the bottom, yep, 1, 1, and 1 plus all the thousands. Ah, ah, ah. Still looks ghastly, but it actually looks manageable. I bet I could actually work out that number. I bet I could see I'm going to have something plus something plus something plus all the thousands. I bet that something will tell me what the last three digits are, B, C, and D. I have a feeling I'll then see what B actually is. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Obviously, I need to be very familiar with this trinomial theorem, but I've got that, so I feel like I'm lucked out here that I have to be stumbled upon this just right away, but it's beautiful. So try it out. Keep going with this. Uh, maybe take it this more slowly, because I was pretty quick here, I think. But uh, take it slowly, see if you can get to the same spot as me, and then actually keep going, get an answer. What is that final digit? And uh, Sorry, third to last digit. And once you've got that, check the answer with the answers in the essay that goes with the video. Be good to compare notes on this one. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.